So AMD's Renoir SoC has just got its first legitimate platform block diagram leaked courtesy of Igor over at Igor's lab. The source in question has a spotless track record with leaks, so we have no reason to doubt the legitimacy of this slide. The AMD Renoir SoC block diagram for the mobility platform, very important as you remember that as we move forward, reveals that the dedicated GPUs will only have access to eight lanes of PCIe 3.0, which could run higher end GPUs into a bandwidth bottleneck. Interestingly, this limitation does not apply to the AM4 based Renoir SoC as confirmed by AMD's Robert Halleck. The reason appears to be that while the AM4 platform has access to 16 lanes of PCIe 3.0, the mobility platform is using a crippled, if you will, version of the SoC for energy efficiency purposes most likely and will be able to utilize 8 lanes for a dedicated GPU. Now the amount of bandwidth is enough for GPUs up to around a 2060 Super without any risk or issue and that might explain why all of the configurations for AMD Renoir laptops that we saw topped out at an NVIDIA RTX 2060. Most pertinently perhaps, this is something that could turn the tide of high-end gaming laptops to Intel's camps once again. Intel's Tiger Lake is not only going to get at least 16 lanes available for discrete graphics, but should also feature some lanes on the new PCIe 4.0 standard. The fact that AMD Renoir hasn't been used to support high-end GPUs such as the RTX 2070 and above, and even big Navi variants when AMD releases them, will see Intel most likely retain its gaming crown in the laptop space until we see a worthy successor from AMD. Now, even if that comes across as a perception more than an actual real world performance, it'll give Intel a marketing edge that they have proven they'll happily take advantage of. Now, support for GDDR6 is also confirmed with the block diagram, as well as the rest of the lane distribution for the platform. Thankfully, storage is supported on dedicated lanes, so plugging in an NVMe SSD shouldn't cripple the discrete graphics to just buy four lanes, and USB 3.2 Gen 2 is also supported natively, and dual-channel DDRAM controllers are included on there also. Now, it looks like AMD's Renoir platform is aiming dead center for the mainstream market and delivering on the promises that the company has consistently upheld, reducing cost for the average gamer. And if you're someone that's not planning to buy a GPU more powerful than a 2060 Super, then AMD's Renoir is going to offer incredible value. But if you're something for a bit more, then Intel's Tiger Lake might be your only option in this space under the 16 14 nanometer options. The introduction of Renoir based laptops in the market should see Intel dragged into a price war that will force it to either one, cut prices as well, or two, yield market share for mainstream segment as AMD offerings are usually much cheaper than the Intel counterpart. Now, AMD processors have also shifted to TSMC's 7 nanometer process, and so far they have been outpacing Intel, although we expect the latter to be more even footing with 10 nanometer, which Tiger Lake is based on. Now, Intel Tiger Lake will also be rocking a mammoth integrated GPU, which is essentially the DG1 on an integrated form with 768 cores based on the XE graphics, and T-flop count is more powerful than the PS4. Both AMD and Intel have gotten very serious with integrated GPUs and things are about to heat up as we enter the second half of 2020. However, those holding out for desktop Renoir might be for a real upgradable option in the APU world. While I personally have been a huge fan of APUs in the past, there have been less restrictions and caveats for those looking to with an, start with an iGPU and grow from here. It's definitely a good move on AMD's part and I thank them for that. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.